The average golf course has more than 280,000 square meters of turf that needs to be mowed, trimmed, or otherwise maintained. Performing this maintenance is expensive, time-consuming, and potentially boring. The autonomous lawnmower performs grass-cutting tasks without requiring input from a human operator and can potentially run at night when it will not disturb players. It primarily relies on GPS, the global positioning system, to keep track of where it is. But there are times when the robot loses sight of the GPS satellites. For example, when it's under a tree and the leaves block the signal. When this happens, the robot must rely on its gyroscopic, or gyro sensor, to help maintain its sense of direction. The autonomous mower travels a set path across the golf course, making sure to cover all the ground it can. Gyro sensors detect rotational motion and are used to keep turning as accurate as possible, even if the robot's wheels slip on wet grass or other hazards. In this chapter, your robot will also need to move so that it covers the entire board. However, certain areas of the board are muddy and the robot can lose traction there. You will start by learning about the gyro sensor. Use a wait until command block with the gyro sensor to control movement. And finally, complete the automated mower challenge. In this video, you will use the gyro sensor to perform a measured turn without relying on wheel rotations. The gyro sensor measures the amount of rotation that the sensor experiences in the direction indicated by its circular arrow. Since the sensor is attached to the robot's body, it measures the amount that the robot's body turns. In all programs that use a gyro sensor, the first thing that you need to do is reset the value of the gyro sensor to zero degrees. Add the reset gyro command block and set it for port 4 where the sensor is attached. You learned in the turning lesson that the robot turns when the left and right motors are set to different motor power levels. To set the two driving motors to different motor power levels you will need to add two set motor command blocks to your program. Set the first set motor command block to run your left motor, connected to port 1, at negative 50. Set the other set motor command block to run your right motor, connected to port 6, at positive 50. Add a wait until control block to your program. Set the first box to get the value from the gyro sensor. The second box is used to compare the value from the gyro sensor to a value in the third box. Set the second box to the greater than symbol and enter 90 in the last box. To set the block to wait until the value of the gyro sensor is greater than 90 degrees. Finally, add a Stop Multiple Motors command block to stop the robot. Choose your left motor, connected to port 1, and right motor, connected to port 6. Save your program as Turn Until Angle. Download your program and run it. The robot turns roughly, but not exactly 90 degrees. Okay, guys, um, today we are going to learn gyro sensor and we are going to solve this one here. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make our robot to complete a full lap around a rectangular box using the gyro sensor to control all of its turn. 
the uh, program the LED to turn on orange when the robot is moving forward and blue when the robot is turning. So what we're going to do is we are going to set our sensor here to orange when it moves and when turning it will turn to blue. So while ago you have watched the video on gyro sensors, we will do the application now. Um, since here guys, uh, this is the, the program that we have. We have this box. So our task is to have the full lock here around the box. So what we're going to do is first is we are going to set our sensor to orange. So set touch LED color to orange. Okay. And then we are going to move, uh, wait for let's say one second one second before we will be moving forward okay so the gyro sensor actually is will allow you to uh, turn left and right without you seeing the basic movements which is the turn left and turn right so the gyro sensor will do the estimation of the right angle that you have here okay upon turning if you're going to set it so we have here wait one second and then and then our robot will move forward let's say seven rotations using 50 speed okay and then after moving forward it will um stop okay it will stop all motors and then wait for wait for at least i have to see wait one second and it will turn to blue Okay, we'll turn to blue upon um where is it? turn to blue because we will now go to uh, the next lock. Okay, so after turning to blue, we are going to reset our gyro. Why we have to reset our gyro to allow it since our gyro is located to port 4, let me check here. In devices, gyro sensor is located in port 4 by default.
Moving forward there. Okay, and then after reaching seven rotations, it should turn to the right, the right, and then arrange again here, and then it should stop after reaching seven rotations. That is Nagnusha, and then turn to the uh, right again, and then moving forward here. See? So, we need to go mamit ng turn left and turn right, guys. We just set the gyro sensor. So, we reset it uh, every after reaching this point here to place it back into zero degrees. Alright, so yun, na yung successful siya. So, I want you to try this one and submit it in our Google Classroom. I'm gonna place this one in the Google Classroom, but you can utilize, you can experiment another command no uh, aside from this okay so baka gusto nyo uh, hindi siya ilagay sa program flow pwede din okay i'm going to accept it okay so baka gusto nyo 90, 90 degrees pwede din no okay. you just experiment as long as you will be, uh, arrive into um this point here and do this the task successfully okay so yun lang muna guys and see you next meeting god bless Yes, 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 yes.